Welcome to Iris 3.2. Uh, we are now calling this product Prospect, and you can download the beta of Prospect from our website. So it supports Revit and SketchUp and OBJ files. You can see that we have a Revit file open right now. And I've set up a 3D view with a section box, um, and I'm ready to view it in VR. So the way our software works is you go to the Add-ins tab, you select Send to Oculus, you select the 3D view you want, in this case we'll select this one, and then you click Launch. Um, and I've started a timer to show the time it takes to go fully from a native Revit format into a navigable VR experience. We're extracting all of this data into our own file format, and then once that extraction's complete, it will boot up this local desktop app. So we're calling this the launcher. From here, you click launch, and it starts processing that geometry. We also detect if the Oculus Rift is plugged in, and if it is, we bring that fully into um, a completely navigable VR experience. So this is the last step of the loading, and I've stopped the timer here. So 36 seconds um, for this file. We're fairly happy with. We hope to get it faster. But at this point, going fully from Revit into VR in 36 seconds um, is something we're quite proud of. So now that you're in VR, um, you can select a place to start and um, you're in. This is a one-to-one -one walkthrough mode. It's a fully navigable file. And um, in this mode, because it's a real-time engine, we can leverage a lot of features that real-time engines have, like time of day. So this is located based on your file's geolocation and um, you can adjust the time of day you can annotate um, using a brush, or you can also annotate using uh, different callouts. Um, and then you can also undo these uh, annotations if you'd like. We also uh, have updated our head height. This is based actually on your head height, so your eye height will be below this. Um, but this is really important for a true sense of scale. We've also introduced um, layers in Revit. These are automatic layers generated by the DWG export. And um, these layers are uh, very important if you want to toggle on, let's say, glass, like I did here. Um, because I turned off glass, now I can teleport into the scene and begin walking through the, through the actual interior. This is another example of free navigation. You can see that I actually ended up hitting that door and the way I get through is by toggling ghost mode. We have a custom collision system in Prospect, um, but sometimes you don't want to collide with objects and you can toggle on and off ghost mode to travel through elements as well. This is a fairly substantial update for us and we're very excited to be rolling this out to our um, early testers. You'll see that this is running very smoothly at 75 frames a second, and we focused a lot on comfort um, this time through. So that's the overview. We hope you enjoy this next update, and um, please stay tuned for further work from Iris.